Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my weekly wax empties and unempties. I will say it's, I think it's been a couple weeks since I've done this. I was out of town last weekend in San Diego and um, I feel like I haven't melted that much to be honest with you. I'm sure this will still take me 18 years exactly to talk about, but I don't have tons and tons of stuff, but um, I have enough, enough empties. Um, where to start? I'm not going to go in any order. I'm not going to like even split up empties or on empties. Let's just start grabbing and see what we grab. Okay. The first is one of the squeeze me, um, squeezable wax melts from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is in Santos Royale, Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Marshmallow. I'm struggling with this one. I love it on cold. It smells really fantastic, but I'm struggling getting a throw. Um, I've melted it twice now in two separate times, like a couple of weeks apart in three different warmers in my like kitchen living room area. They're all different. Like one's a hot plate, one's a 25 watt, all kind of different warmers. And I just don't very, I, I don't get much throw from this. And so, um, I'm going to try it in the bedroom area. This doesn't seem to me like a bedroom type scent. I wish that I could get a better performance from it in that kind of open concept kitchen area. It's just not working for me in there right now. Um, I don't know if it's the scent. I don't know if it is the, um, the formula. This is the first time I've ever used one of the pro one of her like squeezable melts like this. And so it could be I'm not putting it in the right warmer. I don't know for sure. So we'll see how this goes. If you have any tips on how you're using your squeezables, let me know. I have that one. I also um, melted some of Sassy Girl Aroma's strawberry filled Twinkies. I have a loaf in this. This is sweet strawberry jam with Twinkies and vanilla cream. And this is just light. I'm not getting much performance from this one either. Like it smells nice on cold. It's a beautiful, creamy strawberry vanilla scent. Um, I just don't get much performance from it. And this is probably the second time that I've melted it as well. I didn't date this, I must have forgotten, but I, I know that this is at least a few months old at this point. So it should be well cured. I, I wouldn't think I should be struggling with it, but I am still struggling with this one a little bit as well, but smells great on cold. Um, one last unempty, I believe, and I think the rest are empty, but I am just going to toss this like I cannot do it. I have been trying to work through Britta's Hold Me. Um, this is Winter Nights Sweater Weather and Sugared Spruce. I got this the very first time I ever ordered from Britta's. Um, I purchased like a mystery box from her and this was in her coffin shape. And so it was, it's quite a lot of wax as you can tell. Um, and I just hate this scent and I feel very wasteful. Um, but I just need to toss this. I cannot force myself to do this. This sugared spruce winter nights, I'm not entirely sure, smells just straight up cough syrup to me. There's just something about this. I just cannot do it. And so this is just going to go. I'm like, why am I trying to melt something that I just absolutely hate just to get through it? And I, could I de-stash it? Yeah, but it's kind of like, is it even worth the, the hassle over it? If you love it, that's great. Like there's no, <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude about it. It's just not my thing. And I just need to move on from that scent. Okay. The rest is uh, all empty, I believe. Okay. Um, a Sassy Girl Aroma Montego Bay. This was one of her little like chunk muffins. This is basically beach nights and blackberry. So blackberry toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, and marshmallow. This is exceptional. Obviously, Julie's beach nights is top tier beach nights. And the blackberry in this just is so good. It just adds this beautiful fruity, uh, I want to say flavor, fruity scent to this blend. This is going in all of my bedroom warmers right now, and I love it. This has been available um, in brittles and things like that, and I hadn't picked any more up because I had this chunk muffin, and I'm trying to be very good about my purchasing. I'm trying to really think about things that I have, um, but now that I have finished this, I would be in the market for this again when she brings it back the next time. A couple of BAM bags that I finished from 
Super Tarts one was in Misery. This used to be one of my absolute favorite scents and uh, the notes on this are pie crust and leaves. Her pie crust and her leaves both are so good and so unique and blended together. This was just beautiful. But I have always found that this scent is just on the lighter side for Super Tarts. Like I don't get tons of throw from it. And so I kind of just used it up um, and enjoyed it enough, but wasn't getting a ton of scent throw from it. So I think I need to move on from Misery. I think that there are other scents out there that I like just as much or if not more that just perform a little bit better. I also finished Haunted Mansion. This one was old. I probably have had this since 2019 and you can tell her little labels on the bags have changed. This was the newest label label up until the point where she's doing full labels now with scent descriptions and everything. This was the most recent label. So this one is definitely pretty old. I don't know the scent notes on this one, but it was some sort of like pumpkin bakery scent. It almost was a little bit fizzy to me. I enjoyed this. I thought it was um, a good melt, but it isn't something that I would get again. And so I'm kind of glad that I was able to finish two BAM bags because these, you know, take up a lot of space. Um, do I have any more super tarts? Yep, a little half BAM. This one was in Baywatch. This is just like a bunch of fruits put together. It's like black cherry, pineapple, orange, etc. And it is so good. It is so fruity and summery. It's beautiful and it's really strong as well. I highly recommend this one. I have another half BAM of it. So I um, will save that probably for later in the summer, but really enjoyed this one and glad that I have two of those. From Ebony Violet, I finished Distant Lover, Black Opium Type, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds Type, and Creamy Vanilla. This was almost like a cashmere-y type scent. This threw well, it had a decent throw and I enjoyed it, but it's not something that I would really get again. I also don't have like tons of interest in Ebony Violet. Not that I would never order from her, but she's not like a vendor that's on my list per se. Okay, I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of samples. So let's kind of just run through these quickly. To be honest with you, I don't know if I'm gonna remember any, if not, like, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to remember any of these. My gosh, can I speak? Um, because, uh, samples for me are just sometimes really hard to go back and pay attention to. I don't know what my deal is. And I don't know if it's just because it's going in one warmer that I'm not getting that full, like, scent experience. So I will just run through these really quick. The Bathing Garden, Bubble Gum, Boo, Destination Wax Lavender Nicotina, which is lavender twilight blended with tobacco sugar. This one, I do remember I put that one in the bathroom and that was enjoyable. Miracle on 34th Street from L3. Super Tarts Radley. And if I get this video up in time, Radley is available in the pre-order that's going on this weekend. So today is May 15th. So if you're watching this past like May like 17th, you probably have missed it, but at the moment that is available. Bathing Garden Pink Sugar Pie Crust. So many people rave about this. I didn't get much of a scent throw from this, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, L3's Seaside Serenity Vanilla Lace. And then K's Scented Melt in Lost Cherry. I think this is Tom Ford Lost Cherry, that perfume. So yeah, I don't remember really any of those. I also finished four of my, uh, my little Sassy Girl Aroma samples. I'm trying to like get through samples and not let them sit around for super long. <laughs> uh, the first one is a Black Amethyst. This was like a perfumey type of scent. Not my favorite, but you know, enjoyable enough that performed well. Gold Magnolias from Super Tarts, or I'm sorry, Sassy Girl Aroma. Again, a very perfumey type of scent for me. Um, not my favorite in wax, but this would be a good perfume. I like I like that in a perfume, but not really a wax fan for me. Um, and then this one, ooh, I did not like this. Blueberry Cheesecake. 
I have come to find out that I don't love cheesecake in wax and I think it's that like creamy milk note something just is off for me about it and this was just like a yeah a blueberry milky weird scent for me if you like blueberry cheesecake I'm sure this is exceptional it just was not <laughs> for me but I'm glad I got a sample of it you know you never know until you try oh, I'm sorry the other little cup is not from Sassy Girl the other one is from Teddy B's and this one is in John Snow, which I was super excited that this is the sample I got in my ready to ship order because John Snow was one that I had had like kind of on my list. So this is Palo Santo Flannel Sheets Creamy Vanilla and Mint. And this was okay. This was a really good performer. It just wasn't my favorite scent. That flannel sheets is really strong and then you get this mint note to it as well. It just was kind of a weird combination. But I know a ton of people like this, so I can see why people gravitate towards a scent like this. I just don't think it's for me, per se. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad I got a sample in that. I feel like I'm pretty negative in this video, I promise. Like, maybe I just had, like, a bad couple of weeks of melting. Um, from Kathy's Scoopable Tart Wax, this is uh, a sample in the Elderberry Whipped Meringue. Did not care for this just because it smells very grape to me on uh, cold and on warm. Yeah, very grape popsicle type scent. And I just don't like grape and wax. And so I melted it. I tried it. This performed well. It wasn't awful. You know, it's not like my house stunk. I'm just not like a grape fan. So I would not get that again. Um, from Knowles Farm Scents. This is in Trifecta. And this is Unicorn Farts, Unicorn Sprinkles, and Bliss. So I don't know what those are, obviously. But this was just like a very sweet, feminine um, scent. And it was good. Very sweet and girly and pink sugar type-esque. And I liked it, but I don't know if I would necessarily get that again. And then I think these are my last two. Yeah, I have two scoopables that I finished from L3. Both are repurchases and that I absolutely love. I finished a small scoop in Moody with a Booty, which is Boom Boom Cream, Georgia Peach, and Vanilla Ice Cream. This is so good. The Georgia Peach and the Vanilla Ice Cream just blend so well together and it just, it smells like a creamy peach. You know when you like, in the summer, um, sometimes we would eat peaches, like fresh peaches, with like a little bit of sugar, like they kind of caramelize down a little bit and then you put some whipped cream on it. Like that's kind of the vibe I get from this. This is so good. Loved this one, definitely would get this again. And then the other scoop that I finished is one of her large scoops in, in today is October 3rd, Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toast and Malo. You guys, I need this in a loaf. This was exceptional. I totally understand the hype. This is so, so good. It is just the most beautiful Palo Santo with that like sugar cookie overload scent. It's such a nice blend of the Palo and the like sugar cookie. I loved this. This was available in puppy packs in her last um, ready to ship. But like I said, I'm trying to be very, very good about not ordering stuff and getting through my stash. But I do think if this comes up in a loaf at some point in a basic Betty, I will probably get it at that point because I loved this. This was such a nice bakery scent throughout the entire home. Oh, so, so good. Totally can see the hype. If you like Palo Santo, if you like sugar cookies and that type of scent, you should get that one. But that's everything for my empties and unempties for probably the last like two weeks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I melted and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.